Great. So, um, guys, today we have a very interesting topic to talk about. But first, I would like to know if you guys have questions about the, the previous learning activity, which was learning activity number one. <coughs> And if we don't have questions, we just can proceed, right? <laughs> no? All right, so I'm going to start presenting my... No, it's fine. Crin. All right, so here's my, my screen, guys. And as always, I always like to start talking about the uh, schedule activities, right? Hello? You can unmute your microphone. Ed, hello, Edwin, how are you? Hi. <coughs> you can, guys, mute your microphone, please. Thank you. Uh, if you guys have questions, please just uh, raise your hand or talk to me. All right? So, Mm, as I was saying, guys, um, let's check out the schedule. The schedule. So we finished already unit number one, which like learning activity number one. We finished it yesterday, right? We finished it yesterday. Now today we start unit number learning activity number two, right? And it starts uh, today, and it finishes next uh, Monday. It finishes next Monday on October the 10th, right? So please, guys, keep that in mind. Keep the um, dates in your mind so we just miss anything, all right? Now, for this learning activity, we have one, two, three, four. We have four evidences that we are going to check about. Those are the evidences at the end, all right? Or if you have questions and you don't want to leave the question until the end, you can tell me. So now, since we start today, unit number two, well, activity, learning activity. I don't know, I don't know why I, I keep repeating unit. Well, it's learning activity number two. Uh, these are the topics. All right, uh, hello for the ones who are arriving. If you guys have questions about the previous activities from the from the, the evidence from the learning activity number one, you can talk to me if you have questions, okay? Otra cosa, please. Uh, I am doing my comments, my comments, uh, my comments to your evidences in audios, okay? I'm recording the answers and I am sending it to you, okay? No es que el comentario no les aparezca, son grabaciones, all right? Son recordings, please. Para que estén atentos y revisen bien eh, los audios que les estaba dejando to your evidences, okay? <coughs> okay, so, guys, um, Learning activity, learning activity number two. So we go straight to the material, which is called the evolution, the evolution of society. Y ese es el material. No sé si de pronto, if you guys had a chance already to check the information, what are the topics. Uh, if you guys come to straight questions about the topics, that would be super great. But if you don't, we just can't keep moving. So, what are the topics? What are the topics? These are the two topics, the two main topics. The last one is uh, a vocabulary topic, all right? So, since it's vocabulary topic, I'll leave it to you, guys, okay? Se los dejo a ustedes, because this is only vocabulary. It doesn't need any explanation. No necesita explicación. We are just going to review, maybe check some pronunciation stuff, but... Uh, we are going to focus on the grammar topics, right? Which are the grammar topics? The difference between the future perfect and the future perfect progressive, right? And which is the vocabulary, vocabulary related to political and political system, 
Okay, so it's pretty interesting, guys. So, like, if you want to have a debate about politics with a foreigner, you have to learn this, okay? Um, well, it's not you have to buy. You would, that way you would express yourself better, all right? And uh, we are going to focus on the difference between a future perfect and a future perfect progressive. And to, to, to start talking about that, I would like to, I, will, I would like to, guys, check out these examples, these two examples I have here. I would like you just to check them out, let's release it, and analyze them, please, a little bit. Analyze them a little bit, and please, what can you tell about those two examples, and what are the differences between those two examples? Like, what is the intention of one example? To communicate what kind of things, and the other one, to communicate what? What are the intentions? Think about it, analyze them. <coughs> and let's talk a bit about each one. Let's talk a little bit about each one. The first example says, I have to go out at seven. Will we have eaten dinner by then? Will we have eaten dinner by then? And the other example says, by next summer, I'll have been living in this flat for 10 years. The first, the first example focused on one, guys. And the second, Ed says the first one is progressive. All right. So the second one is perfect. What do you guys think? Así sean cosas raras las que digan, pero por favor, <coughs> quiero que me digan qué piensan. Second verb is in gerund. All right. Second, second verb, but which, which sentence? From the first one, first, second one. Okay, so you mean the second sentence. Okay, good. Is in gerund, okay. Yes, of course, living is in gerund. What else, guys? What Celeste, Anna, hello, Anna. Anthony, what do you guys think? <laughs> Hi, teacher, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I what am you... thinking, teacher, yes. because I don't know what do you want I, I said, we said. To say yet, okay. To say, yeah, no. it's... I don't understand why do you uh, what what do you want we we, we say we ah, okay say. yeah uh my my question is like okay so let's read the first one i have yes. to go out at seven yes. will we have eaten dinner by then yes this one <coughs> these sentences is like for example, to say what, to mean what, to express what, to express a, um, for example, future. What? You, o sea, you say what, express future? No. No, it's just a question. Like, uh, the first one, express future. Is what? The, the first one is a perfect future, not not a perfect continue, but continue. Pro progressive, yeah. Progressive, yes. Yes. Okay, but is it is it expressing something that will happen in the future? Um, is a, a, a if a supposition? A, it's a question. 
It's a question. First, there is a fact, okay? A fact is I have to go at seven, okay? Mm -hmm. Then the question, will we have eaten dinner by then? Mm -hmm. the so is it something that will happen in the future? Or it's something that is happening in the, it's happening now? Or, or, or what? Mm, it's a question about if if the fact the fact of have dinner uh, yeah. will we will be ready will be see will be uh, done uh, when 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 the <laughs> when the clock uh, when the time seven. Yes, okay. yes, when the time comes. <laughs> Good, yes. okay. Let's live like that. Thank you. And what about the second one? By next summer, I'll have been living in this flat for 10 years. Está expresando que. What is it expressing? Nos está diciendo que. A fact. A fact. It's like something he'll be doing in the future. Right. Something that you will be doing in the future. Yeah. But like combines like a perfect sense. I don't know, like the past participle. Oh, mm. no, but that's in the first one. No, yeah. The second one, no. no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, pero me gusta que incluso, aunque estén confundidos, analice. Cierto. It's a little bit confusing, I know. But... Analyzing these two sentences by analyzing it. I can't do it. By, by analyzing these two sentences, guys, ya en ustedes is already clear what's going on, right? It's already clear that in one sentence we use past participle, but in the other one it's a gerund, right? It's already there for most of you, al menos para los que me han hablado. Siento que está claro, right? So that's important for me. That, that was the first intention. Fue la, la primera intención. Que ustedes identificaran when do we use like how is it is it a structured and uh, what's the difference between grammar uh, between the two of them, right? A future perfect and the future perfect progressive, right? So that was the first intention. I think it's good. It's completed. Now, I will like. I, I want to teach you. Well, I want to tell you guys when do we use one, and when do we use the other one, right? Cuando, in which situations, right? In which situations, which are very specific. So muy específicas. It doesn't mean like if you guys don't understand or don't know how to use it, uh, you wouldn't be able to speak English. Of course not. I mean. Learning these very specific topics, um, they are not very common in English, right? If you if you just understand like the meaning of it, if you don't know how to use it, it's okay. Uh, at least you are, uh, unless sorry, unless you are a very perfectionist person, uh, then that would be different. But yeah, so basically that's it. You guys know already that one is future perfect. And the other one is future uh, perfect progressive, right? Now we are going to learn when we use one and when we use the other, all right? Um, <clears throat> so let's start the information that we have here already, which is, uh, I already told you where you can find it, right? Learning activity number two, we go to uh, material evolution of society. And my recommendation, as always, is to download these documents, to download them, to print them, and to write on them. <coughs> to have them like as a like a notebook or something, so you guys can write and you guys can practice vocabulary and all this stuff, right? And I have them here already, right? And the topic, well, the general topic is the evolution of society. Now we start talking about the differences between the future perfect and the future perfect progressive. Now I need you guys to pay attention here. Necesito un estante para el computador. 
Okay, perfect. Good. Um, I told you already the number two is vocabulary. Uh, which vocabulary doesn't need explanation, so it's up to you guys to um, kind of mm, learn it. All right, we can talk about pronunciation stuff, but it's up to you. So let's uh, start. Let's uh, start, and um, let's try to be. Uh, uh, if you guys have questions, don't let them go, or just don't let them, don't let them be. Just talk to me, and I will be. Uh, I'll try my best, okay? Now, the difference between the future perfect and the future perfect progressive is like a versus, all right? It's like a versus. So, um, I have some questions for you. First one, okay? The first question says, do you watch TV? Did your parents watch TV? What about your great-grandparents, right? I think the answer is yes, right? So I have a short reading comprehension paragraph here in order to understand. This is only in order to understand when to use one, okay? The television arrived. Alguien me quiere ayudar con la lectura de este, please? Yes, go ahead. Yes, yes. Eh, okay, television arrived in Colombia in 1954. What this means is that Colombians have been watching TV for 60 years, down 2014. Mm -hmm. Television won't disappear anytime soon. Our children and our children, our children and our children's children, yes, will probably keep on watching, keep on watching TV. Very good, thank you very much. So in this short uh, paragraph is the, it's like the key, it's the key to understand future uh, perfect progressive, okay? Here is the, is the key to understand the future perfect progressive, right? The television arrived in Colombia in 1954. Yeah, it means Colombians have been watching TV for 60 years now. Now, that now is 2014, right? What well, was 2014? Television won't disappear. So it started in the past, attention here. It started in the past, right, in, in 1954. And it's still going on, right? It's still going on in 2021. We're still watching TV, right? And it won't disappear anytime soon. Won't disappear anytime soon. So it means our children, our children and our children's children will probably keep on watching TV. All right, se dan cuenta, please notice here that uh, this future perfect progressive is focused on the duration. It focused on the duration, en la duración de algún hecho, de alguna situación. All right, so the quick question is, for how many years Colombia have been watching TV? By 2025. No idea, right? That's my thing. 2014, 60, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 6, 71. 71, yes, very good. Yes, yeah. very good. So here's the answer too. It says by 2025, attention here, Colombians will have been watching TV for 71 years. So there, guys, in these situations is when we use future perfect progressive. Like the example I have here, this one right here. By next summer, by next summer, espera un segundo. Anna, by next summer, I'll have been living in this flat for 10 years. It started 
so uh, quite quite time ago yeah it started quite time ago it is still going on and well it'll still be in the future yeah i am just mentioning a fact yes anna tell me yes teacher it's about uh uh share uh a key in order to understand a future a future purpose Yes. Progressive. The future person progressive. Progressive. Mm -hmm. So, as you say, uh, it's something uh, to still going on. Yes, mm -hmm. still going on. So, some it, it's something uh, that is not already finished. Yes. Mm -hmm. The action is actual. Yes. It is, it's already going on mm -hmm. it is still going on yeah so it focused on the duration or something yes, yeah teacher, but but it's it's not just duration because duration could be a uh, i saw a movie last night the the movie uh, endure or or was or uh -huh. uh, for two two hours yeah. so i am telling about a past mm -hmm. okay so it's not just a jury it's it's yeah i mean duration, it's not just excuse me it's not it's not only the duration but for example uh here the question focused on for how many years yeah how for many, how many years, how many years? So, in the, uh, until the future no no until now okay until now but but it's, 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 it's something that already is uh, being doing. Being... It's, it's something that ha like it started in the past mm -hmm. and in the future will continue. Yes, in the future. So in the future will continue as the, yes. question, as the question here. For example, uh, I'll have been living in this flat for 10 years. It means that in 10 years it would stop? No, in 10 years it will continue. So that's what, it, what that's when I say about the duration. Yes. Uh, okay. it, the duration is not like only uh, when we talk about something that, that started in the past and finished in the past. No, duration also means that it started in the past, uh, will continue by next summer, by next summer is going to be uh, 10 years, but then after that, it will keep going, right? So it's like to focus on something that you want to to express, right? That will still, uh, it will happen something, uh, but it will still going on, right? So to understand this clearly, fully, mm, I wouldn't say it's easy and we just have to keep, keep let, let's keep moving on the examples here. So <coughs> this is the answer. So this is basically it, all right? And how does it form? It has will, it has the perfect, right? According to perfecto, uh, it's like mentioned through the have been, have been watching TV. Aquí más adelante vamos a ver cómo la estructura Bien, para hacer preguntas, para hacer afirmaciones, para hacer negativo, pero, but it's basically that, okay? What is it progressive? How do we know it's progressive? Because it has an ing, right? That the main verb, the verb has an ing, all right? Now, it says, um, you might be thinking, why does it have to do with the future perfect progressive? Well, if you read the answer again, you will notice that it was structured using future perfect progressive. So it, you're talking about this answer, right? It's um, a future perfect progressive, right? So it's like something that happened in the past, it started in the past, it's still going on in the future, and it won't happen, and it won't stop um, in the future, right? So since we have already the two questions, ya tenemos esas dos a basis, the, 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 the phrase, so we can understand like the meaning. Now it says here, progressive use, future perfect progressive 
use. Mm, atención aquí, otra, otra de las razones, no solamente duración. Bueno, aquí dice, when we express for how long. It's when we want, we use it, when we want to express for how long. Por cuánto tiempo, right? Se enfoca en la duración. Por cuánto tiempo. Okay, por cuánto. This is very important. So for how long? For how long an action will have been taking place at a point of reference in the future. Aquí está más bonito lo que yo básicamente les he estado diciendo, right? The action is started before that point of reference and will continue after that point, right? So it started in the past and it's still uh, going on after the fact, right? In 10 years, in, by 2000, by, by 2025, uh, Colombians, we are still, maybe, but we'll be watching, uh, we'll have been watching TV for 71 years, but it va a continuar <coughs> después de ese punto, all right? Si van teniendo preguntas, please, this is the moment. So you guys talk to me. Yes. Tell Ana. Y yes, André. Uh, I, I would like uh, to listen to Andrés first, teacher. Okay, Andrés, go ahead. No, I just got a question that is, if is it used like so much because I haven't seen it like a lot. Yeah. It's not, it's not pretty common. Actually, it's not common to 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 see people speaking because they have very because it's used for very specific situations, right? It's not like present simple or it's not like future itself or present progressive, right? Because we express our ideas all the time in this in, in topics, uh, but future future. Future perfect progressive is not pretty common because it's it has very specific use, right? But it's important, guys, for you to know it, right? If you if you read it in an article or if you see it, uh, you guys know already what it's it for. Mm, but yeah, it's not it's not common. It's not common. But you guys are in level nine. E these are the topics like um, you guys should be learning, right? <laughs> Ana, ahora sí. I would like to, to compare. 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 Um, the sentence you you chart by chat, okay? Mm -hmm. This one, by next summer, I will have been living in this flat for 10 years. Okay. I would like to compare the, it uh, with the... Example in the guide. Uh, please, could you share the guide? Mm, yes. So I have the example, like by. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. 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 By 2025, Colombia, Colombians will have been watching TV for 21 years. So, um, according to the expression, could you down? A, a, a little teacher, please, the, the screen. Yes. 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 Uh, yes, teacher, thank you. Future perfect progress. You just, I, I would like to, to read that this one. We use the future perfect progressive when we express for how long an, an action will have been taking place. We have been taking place. No, we'll have. Uh, we have not not take not been taken, but we have endured. So, uh, uh, the the point is, teacher. The point is, but that not necessarily the future perfect progressive means or is used when. When I, I I would like to express uh, something, uh, excuse me, teacher, um, something uh, that uh, ha, had been taking place at at a point in the past and uh, until a point in the future. Not not just that. Excuse me. <coughs> 
It could be either the action will finish in the future and is taking place now. Yes, yes, it, it, it started in the past. Now it's taking place, okay? Mm -hmm. And in the future, uh, we will have a uh, we'll, taking we'll, place. We'll stop for any time. For any time, yes. Yeah, but but that... you say that after that time in the future, the action will continue have been taking place. For example. In the in the in the 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 example of the chat in the chat mm -hmm. uh, in ten years or, or, or what, what 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 is the the chat? Excuse me, teacher. I I will write the chat. The chat was the, the example in the chat was. Oh my God! I don't have uh, the chat here. Ah, okay. By okay by next step. Next summer, so in the future, no, next summer. By next summer, I will have been living in this flat for 10 years. My my question or my my point is that not necessarily uh, the person who, who are expressing this, this sentence, uh, not necessarily uh, they, uh, they will have then they will continue living after next summer in the flat. Do you understand my point? Do you understand my point? Yeah, but it's something that we don't know. Mm. Like, so, for example, like, for example, we don't know. It's not expressed in my example here. It's not expressed if she's moving out after the 10 years. Exactly. exactly. So we cannot so, say it will stop. We just have to infer it will continue. But we right? can say the contrary. We can say they will, they will. No, but uh, we, if, if we want to we say the opposite, it will, we will have to use another time expression. But I'm just saying like a future perfect progressive, we, we we have to infer that it won't disappear as example here. The television won't disappear anytime soon. Uh -huh. Our children and our children's children will probably keep probably. on okay. watching. Probably. probably keep on watching TV. Okay. Yes. So if you want to if you want to express something that will happen or we will stop in the future, we will have we just have to use future. No future perfect or no future perfect progressive, right? If we, if you want to mention that something will stop in the future, uh, you'll have to use another, other another statement different from future perfect progressive. What is that? Because yes. if you want to use future perfect progressive, you have to infer that something yes, yes, yes. will probably keep on watching to me. And the oh. person. Y la persona probablemente va a seguir viviendo en su apartamento después de 10 años, right? We don't know, for sí, sure. Es, pero lo que quiero es dejar muy claro lo siguiente, teacher, escúcheme que le hable en español. Entonces, eh, para el próximo verano, eh, nosotros habremos estado viviendo en este apartamento por 10 años, exacto. Y el ejemplo de la televisión, entonces, para el 2025, ah, no, pues, probablemente la televisión continuará funcionando y, y nuestros nietos la, la, la estarán viendo, uh -huh. estarán viendo en, en ese futuro entonces. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Pero entonces, eh, usted me dice que si yo quiero decir, sí, las dos cosas, tanto que el próximo verano estaremos, ah, perdón, habremos estado viviendo por 10 años ¿Cierto? En el apartamento. Uh -huh. el próximo verano. Si yo quiero decir que, que y luego, y luego de eso, eh, eh, o digamos, y un año más, supongamos, ¿cierto? Y, y vamos a ir un año más, ya no usamos el, el, el futuro perfecto. Exacto. Continuo. Exacto. Uh -huh. Sino, ya ¿Cómo no, usaríamos no, allí? Dicho? Ya no tendríamos... 
Uh, for by next summer, I will move. Uh, by next summer, I'll be living in this flat for 10. No, no, sería I've been living. Porque no estaríamos viviendo, sería otro. Sí. Mm, a ver. Perfecto continuo, sí, progreso. By next summer, I will. I will. I will be. I will be 10 years and I will be. Living. I will be, be. I will be living. Yes, I will be living 10 years. I will be living for 10 years. Ah, okay. yes. I oh, will be clear. living. Okay. Mm -hmm. Una cosa es, habremos estado viviendo y otra cosa es... Eh, Como completaremos o estaremos viviendo. Eh, habríamos sí, ya estado no es el habremos. El es, habremos que es, que es, es que es como, es que yo creo que la confusión viene en que tú tratas de, de traducirlo. Y cuando uno lo trata de traducir, ahí a veces eso sí se le complica a uno la cabeza porque a veces la, la misma, el mismo significado, no es el mismo significado en español, right Entonces, we will be, we will be, we will be, we will be 10 years in this flat. We will be 10 years in this flat. Como que habremos, pero entonces le queremos dar un fin. Como que serán 10 años. Pero cuando usas el Future Prince Progressive es como si le dejaras la ventana abierta a que ah, okay. probablemente siga. Ok, ahora sí ya le entiendo perfecto, Chico. O sea, no necesariamente cuando yo proyecto a, algo que, que está sucediendo ahorita y lo proyecto a que, a que entonces en determinado tiempo se, ha, se habrá cumplido determinada duración de esa acción. Eh, Usamos otro, 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 otro tema. Otro Exacto, entonces, sí. entonces también, también puede suceder también es para que no solamente contemos que ha estado, que, perdón, que habrá transcurrido X tiempo en el futuro de, de determinada acción, sino que también esa probablemente continuará. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Probablemente continuará. O sea, no muere, no muere en 10 años. No, no. Perdón, 10 años desde cuando comenzó, porque pues, uh -huh. comenzó antes de ahorita. No, no muere en 10 años desde que comenzó, sino que ya abierta. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Ok, good. Sí, probablemente siga. No sabemos. Lo mismo que con el ejemplo de la televisión. We'll probably keep on watching, a menos de que un meteorito nos acabe a todos, pero eso no, no lo sabremos. ¿sí? Tenemos que yes. inferir de que it will, it will keep going in the future. Good. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is like a timeline, uh, how, how more specifically how it works, por eso es importante, siempre como, bueno, uno con el material, with this material, uh, we, we, kind of, we kind of try to understand, but, but having these conversations is easier to like understand the whole, the whole meaning. So, this is like a timeline. So, Columbus started to watch TV in 19... Uh, 53 it's been 71 years but we still probably will be will, will be back watching tv by 2025 right and it will continue in the future yeah it will happen it will still going on the future so that's why andres is like well but this is not i mean we use present perfect progressive in very specific situations right you see Like it happened in the past, it will continue, and it probably will continue in the future. Um, and we don't express ideas in these um, concepts very often. So that's why we don't see it very, very, very often. But it's important for us guys to um, to kind of have it in our mind. All right? This is not like a timeline. If you want to just keep going on it. It's okay. It says here, another question. <coughs> another situation. Let's analyze it too. Your mom told you she will meet you. She will meet with you at 2 p.m. You arrived at 2 o'clock at the mall. It is 2.30 p.m. and she hasn't arrived yet. She called you. Uh, to uh, she called you to tell you she'll be there by three. All right. Now, quick question 
For how long will you have been waiting by the time your mom gets to the mall? Hmm. Si ven esas preguntas un poco específicas, right? <laughs> so for how long will be will you have been waiting by the time your mom gets to the mall? All right? So the answer is you will have been waiting for one hour. So, como se dan cuenta, la pregunta es muy enfocada for how long? Por cuánto tiempo? Por cuánto tiempo? So, la duración de algo. Right? So, Here's the another. Well, here's another example. Like maybe you will have been waiting for an hour. Great, you have been waiting for an hour. Now the structure. The structure. How is the structure? Aquí está. Pronto pues como la clave para armarlo, para formarlo. Right? Ya entendimos por qué, el para qué. Sobre todo eh, ahora enfoquémonos en la estructura. The structure is object. Plus, will have been. Siempre. Siempre. Well, it's, it depends on the, on the subject, right? It may change uh, depending on the subject. But still, working. All right? Working. The verb is in ing. All right? She will have been studying. You will have been studying. Working. Sorry. So this is the structure always now for negative statements they won't have been working she won't have been studying you won't have been working yes does anyone have a question edwin sure. yeah i want to show you an example yeah I have written in the, in the chat. Yes. Uh, do you have it in your chat? By the time she wants to help me, I'll be cleaning the kitchen for over three hours. Muy bien. Very good. So, yes. It can be a sentence of usual progressive. Yes, that's an example of future progressive. So, by the time she wants to help me, I'll have been cleaning the kitchen for over three hours. Probably, I won't need her help anymore, right, after three hours of cleaning. Yes, thank you, Edward. Very good. <coughs> um, that's for negative. You guys see uh, what's the negative of will? Want right? So want they won't have been working. She won't have been studying. You won't have been working. Great. For questions, will they have been working? Will she have been studying? Will you have been working? And I think I believe that this is this is clear for you guys the structure because we already know how it works, right? We know that. A uh, negative structure goes in the want. A uh, positive affirmative structure is subject plus it'll have been and at the end is the verb. And for questions, we guys know already that will is at the beginning, right? So we know this already. Hey, Anna, tell me. Yes, teacher, could you please? Yes, please. Uh, teacher, um, uh -huh. I would like to to remark about differences uh, between a uh, future perfect pro progressive. Mm -hmm. Please teach it. Could you, okay. Uh, could you stop the, the, the screen, please? Yeah, okay. A uh, future perfect progressive and a uh, just a uh, future perfect. Okay. Okay. Ya vamos. Ya vamos para allá. Okay. We are just so, talking about we're reading, talking about reading the structure. screen. Reading the screen, okay. Uh, uh, according to the structure of the sentence, okay. Uh, entonces, so in the future perfect progressive, we use the 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 verb to be, okay? The verb to be in a past participle, okay? 
plus the, 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 the action verb in progressive. By the contrary, in just in future perfect, no progressive, but future perfect, we don't use uh, the verb to be and the germ, just the 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 auxiliar no, the auxiliar have to have and the 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 action verb in past participle, for example. Future perfect progressive. In this in this case, the, they won't have been working. So this future perfect is just they have working. It's working on work. They have worked. Okay. They have they have future perfect. Just future perfect. No progressive. Future perfect. Uh, could be the sentence could be. They uh, won't. They won't uh, have worked. They won't have worked. Uh, for example, uh, last last year. For example, last year they won't have worked. Worked. Okay. Past participle of the action verb and uh, the, the the auxiliary have. Then, by the contrary, future perfect progressive is like the screen uh, uh, show. They they won't have been 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 okay been working ing okay. I I I saw this is difference between future perfect and future perfect progressive. We haven't talked about future perfect yet. We are just talking yeah, about at, at the beginning, teacher. No, we are no. just talking about future perfect progressive. Yes, future. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. Future perfect progressive. Esa es la estructura del future perfect progressive, which is will. Yeah, you were also mentioning about verb verb to be. At the beginning, teacher. If you go uh, up on the screen. Uh, you will uh, the guide. You will you 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 will read. I I up teacher up up. Well, but but only yes. mention the title. The difference between the future perfect and the future perfect progress. Yeah, but now we are just talking about present progress, future perfect progressive. Is the only Pokemon's our life? You put two two sentence in the chat. One in future perfect and other in future perfect progressive. Ah, yes, because I just want to 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 make clear the differences between the two of them. But the explanation I gave is only for future perfect progressive. Okay. Only okay, 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 teacher. It's just to to this thing to 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 see what the what to explain what 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 of both are. Is a progressive okay? Yes, but don't, don't get confused because you were saying to use to, you were saying to your future perfect is where to be. No, future is future, and it will always use will. Okay, future perfect. Yes, will, but but being but being being past participle of verb to be being you okay the subject uh, will have. Been, been, and the progressive form of the action verb. But for future perfect, okay, 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 okay. we are we are we are in the explanation of 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 um, future, future perfect. perfect progressive. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Go on. Excuse only me. in this one. Only in this one. In future perfect, we don't use been. All right. I, wait. You just wait. Calm down. <laughs> so. Guys, I just finished talking about future perfect progressive. Okay, even though I I wanted you guys to 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 check out both how they both work at the beginning, I just started talking about uh, the future the the future perfect progressive. All right, only we're talking about how it works. In which examples um, we have some 
paragraphs here try to make clear how does it work and when do we use it, all right? Espero que eso esté claro. ¿Cuándo lo usamos? ¿En qué situaciones específicas? Cuando nos referimos a la duración de una situación that happened in the past, still going on, and will continue in the future, that will probably continue in the future, porque pues no sabemos, right? We just, we, we don't know, right? Good. Now, since we finished talking about future perfect progressive and we talked already about the structure, we'll have been, been working. Esa es la diferencia eh, que tiene el been y que tiene el verbo en ing. The, per, the future perfect solamente es they will have in the, and the verb. Bueno, ya vamos a ver la estructura. Anyways, now. Uh, they are telling us to talk about the, the, the verses, right? The verses. Now, even though the words are similar, they have these uh, differences, right? Vamos a hablar ahora de las diferencias entre, claramente entre uno y el otro, right? So, future perfect, the notes, the notes es como que muestra that an action will have been completed. Ahí está la super diferencia. Will have been completed before a specific moment in the future. Okay? So the perfect, the future perfect denotes that an action will have been completed before and specific moment in the future. Before a specific moment in the future. For example, I'll have finished, I'll have finished the chapter by five o'clock. Okay? It will be completed. The chapter will be completed before or well, by five o'clock okay you guys see the differences between the progressive and the and the and the perfect well perfect progressive and the, the one is not progressive that one continue will <coughs> will probably continue in the future but this one will stop will be completed before a specific moment in the future all right, so I'll have finished the chapter by five o'clock. My parents will have sold their house by December. All right, the parents will have sold their house by December. I need to connect on those yet. Okay, está más claro. Ya, esa es la, la, la diferencia principal y es lo que basically we have to understand, right? One will stop. The action will be completed by any moment in the future. Yeah, it will be completed by any moment in the future. The other one, it's, it's will continue, but this one will stop at any moment in the future, right? Uh, perfect progressive emphasizes the continuity of the action in the future. Uh, emphasizes the continuity of the action in the future. Ah, bueno, en el progressive, right? Future, future perfect progressive will uh, emphasizes in the action in the future. Continuity. Va a continuar en el futuro, but the future perfect will be completed. All right? We have two other examples here. Con perfect y con, y con progressive. Yes. Uh, could you please, teacher, uh, going up, up to the screen, please? To In order to read the, the explanation of, of future perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the future perfect denotes that an action will have been completed. Completed. Okay. Mm. Completed. Before <coughs> a specific moment in the future. Yeah. Before us. Before. That an action will have been completed before a specific moment in the, in, the, in the future. Okay, teacher, could you please down the screen? Yeah. Okay, explanation of uh, the future perfect progress. Uh, the, the, uh, the future perfect progress emphasize the continuity 
of the action in the future. So it's not just the action is completed, but the action continues. Yeah, but the future perfect progressive. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, yes. Uh, 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 talking about a uh, difference, uh, one and the other. Mm -hmm. I just I just emphasize emphasize or remark remarking uh, the explanation of one and the other. Ah, okay. 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 So yes. this the the first one the the future perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, in the future perfect, the action uh, is completed in the in the in the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the in the in the specific point Moment. in the future. Mm -hmm. But that uh, in the future perfect progressive, uh, the action continue in the future. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that's the, the key for me. For me, yeah. that's the key. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it's it. That's it. Uh, you 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 did it. The one in focused on the continuity of the action and the other one, the action is completed in a specific moment in the future. Anthony, you have a question. Teacher, I have the question. Uh, the progressive future, uh, the activity never ends. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, never oh, ends. Okay. <laughs> okay. never ends or it will end but we don't know we just we, we don't know because it's future right we cannot make like to 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 make a, a statement saying that it will happen or it's going to happen because you know you never know right it's future so it will probably continue the action never ends and and this one is completed right but in specific moment Great. Uh, Camilo, hello. Andres, cualquiera de los dos. Um, I got a question. Yeah. And if, for example, you can express an idea in both tenses, right? Because, for example, if I want to express that in five years, I'll be working in this company. I mean, like, in five years, I've worked for five years, okay? Mm -hmm. So, for example, you can say, I will have been working at this company for mm -hmm. five years. Mm -hmm. But you can also say, like, uh, I will have been worked in this company for five. No, I will. Wait. I will have worked. I will have worked in this company for five years. So I'm not sure if you can use it in both situations or is not. I will, I will have worked. I will have worked. Um, I will have been working for this. I will have been teaching. I will have, I will have worked. Yeah, but if you if you notice, the meanings like the intentions are different. Yeah, the idea the idea you want you want to express, the ideas are different. So I I I will have been working for fifteen years. I I I'll have worked. I will have worked. For ten years, but if you, in that sentence, you have to 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 stop. To stop, yeah. You, the idea is stopped, but the other one is open to continuity. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's yeah. two different ways of expressing something, mm -hmm. right? For yes. example, in Spanish, we could say eh, "habré trabajado" or "a ese tiempo ya estaré trabajando." Yeah, but but notice that it's habré y habría, which is different, because that would be uh, yo habría trabajado para para el próximo verano yo habría trabajado por 15. Es diferente decir yo habré trabajado por 15 años, right? Habré you stopped, habría that's como la la, la posibilidad. That's why it's not good to translate some things, right? Because we just can get confused. We have we have different things to express. Uh, for example, habré, habrí, habrá, right? Which is gives a total different meaning to the to the whole thing. Uh, T-shirt. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Camille. Good, good morning, everyone. So it is also possible to say uh, at the time I will be working for around fifteen years or something like that. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
for two mm -hmm. for by by next by next December. I will have been working for 20 years in this company. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Teacher, excuse me. <coughs> Teacher, could you please, yes, please stop the script. Teacher, uh, I think the the sentence, uh, I will have been working at this company for 50 years, is incomplete. <coughs> I think uh, it's dismissed uh, the... What, in, in what moment? In what moment mm -hmm. the person will have been working at this company for 50 years? Mm -hmm. At what yeah. moment? It's incomplete. Mm -hmm. I think it's not. I mean, it would be better if we had, like, if we have, like, the the moment, right? Like, in, in but, when, but, this when. Sen but this sentence yeah. is expressed in present moment, so it's it's correct. Because you are talking to someone else or you are saying something like, I will have been working at this company for 15 years. So that means from now on, from today on. So okay. It, it's correct. But I will have been it's working. Not, it's not implicit the moment, the moment, because uh, like Camilo said, uh, it's in the present. In yes. English, the, the, the most, most, uh, Characteristica, the most feature of the English language is that always is expressed. So if if I I I I I I am talking, I am talking about uh, I will have been working at this company for 15 years. In English, you have to express in one moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But maybe uh, is. Well, the point is, <laughs> the point is, is that it is continued. I mean, it's going to continue in the future. Okay, that's the whole point of it. Maybe, probably, we will still go okay. on. Okay. And number two, it says Nicole will have been teaching English in Colombia for four years by January. Eh, lo que nos dice, eh, so lo que nos dice Ana es que by January, o sea, es importante. No es que si no está está mal. No necesariamente. Um, si está mejor, pero si no está, no está mal. All right? Uh, basically, that's it. So, guys, I recommend you to please keep going, working on it, right? Uh, those are the two differences between the two of them. No está como la estructura, pero la estructura ya la sabemos, right? El presente, el future perfect as they have been they have they will have uh worked the verb in past participle or whistle will and have okay and uh the progressive is uh plus being uh plus the verb in ing all right so those are the two main differences and now the second section is about vocabulary political and uh, politics and political system right here you have the term and the definition democracy direct democracy representative democracy representative democracy communism republic monarchy dictatorship all right and you have the definition now for politics the word and uh the meaning the definition in spanish right and that's it that's basically it now if you want to keep going on the contextualization aquí hay unos ejemplos guys that will make uh these two sentences well these two tenses future perfect progressive and future perfect more clear okay so please work on the contextualization now let's talk about the evidences let's talk about the evidences that we have for these for these the first one is evidence speak your mind no speak your mind segundo por favor uh por aquí está nine contenido del curso Proyecto, activity number two, speak your mind, okay? <clears throat> we download our file. 
Recuerden que las, eh, los comentarios de las evidencias se los estoy haciendo en audios, ¿ok? Para que no digan, ay, la teacher, no, miren, revisen bien que hay, hay un audio para que reproduzca. Ah, uh, now, what is it about? It says, in this evidence, we have to, you have to write a composition expressing to what extent you agree or disagree with statements below. Agree? or disagree to the statements below. Make use of the critical thinking strategy, strategies you learned in the previous levels. In los niveles anteriores, algo sobre critical thinking. Now, it's about political, politic, political statements, right? As our political si system is optimal, not because it produces the policies that you prefer. It produces the policies that much smarter people prefer. You guys agree or disagree? Okay, and it's important that you know that you use the political uh, vocabulary que está ahí, all right? If you want to refer to democracy, if you want to refer to constitution, if you want to refer, well, ahí está. Only six uh, statements, only six statements. Aquí pueden ustedes expresarse eh, um, como quiera. It's a composition, all right? No necesariamente tiene que ser eterna, pues no, seis, siete hojas, es para nada, ¿no? Ideas cortas, breves, concisas, all right? So that's the first one. The second one, see if you guys have questions, please let me know. The interactive activity, which is political matters, right? So you just have to follow the steps. You have to read and follow the, uh, the, um, Yeah, you guys know already how the interactive activity works. Now, society as I see it, all right? That's the second or well, the third learning activity. It says, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new, build a new model to, that makes the existing, the existing model obsolete. Books, book, Minster, Fuller. For this evidence, you have to read the following situation and create a video answering the questions below. In the answer for question seven, you will be required to use the future perfect and the future perfect progressive. You will find a model sentence to the question. So here's the situation. Yeah, the one you have to read. After we read, uh, you Create a video, crean el, crean el video, answering these questions. In the answers, you have to use future perfect and future perfect progressive. Yes? Vamos bien? <laughs> Creo que sí, ¿no? So, claro. Yes, teacher. It's clear. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, the last one. La última. <coughs> Aquí está. Future, the future of my city. In this evidence, this evidence is divided into two parts. Okay, for the first part, you have to create a presentation, presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, or a tool of your choice. It's up to you. But if it's PowerPoint, much better for me too. Okay, describing your predictions about the city you, where you were born. You should only use the future perfect and the future perfect progressive. Your presentation should have at least 10 slides, 10 diapositivas, all right? Five sentences using the future perfect and five sentences using the future perfect progressive. Aquí hay un ejemplo. By the 2020, the population of Bogota will have grown substantially. And by the 2023, Uh, the first woman major will have been carrying out, out better social development projects for three years. Okay. So uh, it, it, it is only 10 slides, five for future perfect and five for future perfect progressive. You guys predicting the future for the city you were born. <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> interesting teacher. For me, it's so interesting. Yes, very right. You're right. So I recommend you guys to do the contextualization, to do the practice, and to do well. Don't forget the channels, okay? The communication channels. You guys have 
uh, the forum de dudas e inquietudes and you guys have the um, um, the email ya lo tienen también ok uh, questions ya yeah, questions final questions Espero que les haya quedado claro. <laughs> yes, Ana. Hey, teacher, if I have a problem about uh, the video, to uh, sending the video because recording no problem, but sending the video because uh, it's so much, too much uh, heavy. Okay. Mm -hmm. How can I do? Um, do you have YouTube? Do you know? Do you know how to? Yes, YouTube? yes, but I don't like to use YouTube because. YouTube, what you do is public. No, you can send it to a private. Cuando subes el video, lo puedes configurar para privado. Y ah, solamente, solamente la persona que tiene el link lo puede ver. Ah, ok, teacher, thank you. Thank you. It's much better. It's easier. You upload the video and you share the link with me and that's it. Ok, teacher, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Any other question, guys? Edwin, tell me. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. I'm not sure if you have so my evidence. Yeah. Can you show me in, in the screen how can I see your qualification? Your, your grades. Los, yeah. los Okay, no, it's easy. Um, it's very so. Vamos a quien regresar. One second. Que se me ha perdido. No. Un segundo. Como ven, entonces ingresa a los comentarios. Es que a mí no me aparece. Ingresa a los comentarios, por favor. O sea, donde tú envías la evidencia. Sí vas ahí, así vas a la, a la específica digamos que tú me enviaste something I will always treasure me enviaste esa cierto entonces eh, yo te escribí yo te yo te hice un comentario que más o menos sale así miremos acá los comentarios que yo hice acá entonces Abres el comentario y aquí hay un recording, retroalimentación por audio. Búscala donde está ahí en la evidencia, donde tú entraste y busca las evidencias, donde busca las notas. Eh, ahí está. ¿Sí? Mira la retroalimentación por audio. Dura 19 minutos, segundos. Búscala que por ahí está. Si no, es que a mí no me aparece, yo no te la puedo mostrar, pues porque yo no, yo no me puedo enviar evidencias a mí. Entonces, por eso no me aparece. Pero dale la buscadita que ahí está, te lo juro. Bueno, Listo. Voy a I will try. Listo. Y me dices, Ana. Teacher, the, the ending time for evidence is, uh, oh. the, for example, uh, for example, uh, for, for, for previous activities, for the activity one was today, October, uh, October 4th, before uh, at four four thirty a half past four uh, it means e a.m. or p.m. siempre es p.m. p.m. Mm -hmm, siempre es p.m. it's not uh, 24 hours it's just it's just 12 hours <coughs> uh, for example if the final if the final date is um, Today, 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 October the 4th. October the 4th. It starts today, actually. And the, the no, learning the activity, activity, yes, but the, the first activity. The first activity ended yesterday at 11.30. At 11? 11? 11.30 p.m. A las 11.30. Si tú me la envías a las 11.45 p.m., eh, ya la cuenta, no la cuenta. La cuenta como tarda. Cardia. Teacher, by, but in the schedule, if you if you uh, read the schedule, it, it says um, no not in the schedule, in the evidences. The evidences this a uh, final final time, uh, October four at 
four, a, 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 a four, a, a half past four. Half past four. Mm, no le he configurado esa hora ahí. Pero la última hora que aparece es a las once y media. Eh, But that is not in the schedule, neither in the, in the evidence teacher. Yes. I, I, I suppose I, I had, I had time to, to, to send the evidence at 4.30, uh, 